Live with Kelly and Mark. Today, Academy Award winning actor, Jeff Bridges. And from the new film, The Thicket, Juliette Lewis. Plus, the pros and cons of cosmetic surgery as we continue our Turn Back Time Week. September 12th, 2024. Yes, the weekend is almost here. The weekend is almost here. Hey, when do you think the best time to book Thanksgiving and holiday travel is? Make them come to you. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah, what are, we, what are we doing this year? Where are we going? Who are we going to? What's happening? Oh, that's a good question. I say we make the kids fight each other for the privilege of us coming to see them. So it's either Michigan. No. I'm kidding. London. No, no, no. We're going to host Thanksgiving and they're going to come to us. They got to come to us. That's it. Right, until they have their own families. Here's, I have a funny little saying. Whoever pays for Thanksgiving doesn't have to go anywhere. <laughs> Uh, they say 38 days before departure on average is the best time to book flights. Um, historical low prices range from anywhere from 21 to 52 days. We should ask the points guy. Yeah, I think, I think they're in agreement with that. Yeah, that's a oh, good yeah? statistic. Yeah, because too early, it's expensive, and too, too late, late is a it's problem. expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so good, uh, yeah, 38 days. <laughs> so try to do that math. 38 days. Uh, trips to Europe and uh, from the U.S. tend to be cheapest 94 days before departure. Oh. We missed our window. We missed the window. <laughs> missed the window. Sorry, Lola. <laughs> um, do you have a scalloped tongue? What is a scalloped tongue? You know, a tongue um, like, uh, well, I guess this is a... Yeah, that's a scalloped tongue. It's kind of like a scalloped tongue. See how it's scalloped around the edges? No, you don't. Yeah. Don't, why do you do that weird thing? Like, you, yeah, just relax your tongue when you stick it out. <laughs> it's weird. It's like he doesn't know how to stick his tongue out. Let me out see, let me see your tongue. <laughs> um, so a scalloped tongue is very interesting. Anybody here with a scalloped tongue? Oh, I'm gonna what does it mean? You. So if you have a scalloped tongue, it means you might have a vitamin deficiency. Oh, okay. okay. Especially B vitamins, B12, B9, nope. B2. Um, you might be uh, clenching or grinding your teeth ah. and creating little mm -hmm. divots in your tongue. You might be dehydrated. Ah. Um, you may have limited tongue space. <laughs> Small mouth, big tongue. <laughs> It's a shame. It's like when you try to put your SUV in a garage in New York City. Right. <laughs> you know what right, I mean? Right, right. You got to bring the mirrors yeah. in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have sleep apnea. Oh. Uh, you could have TMJ, and you might have a, th a thyroid issue. So, talk, huh. talk. so if so you check have out your a scalloped tongue, you know, run to your <laughs> nearest emergency room. Uh, both dogs and cats can love a game of fetch, the study finds. New research finds that lots of cats, 41%, love retrieving toys tossed by their human. I would say, what's the, what's the percentage of dogs? I would say like 80%. 90%. Probably. So well, we have to one, dogs. We have one dog that loves fetch. Loves and it. we have one dog that if you throw something at her, she either ignores it completely or you can read her mind. And she's like, if you throw that at me again, I'm going to stab you. <laughs> like, she or truly does not want yeah, to play she's fetch. Very, she's very French. She goes, Pfft. Yeah. <laughs> 
She you looks at it and looks at that. that. I'm not going to yeah. go and get I'm that. I'm not going to grab Lena that. Lena loves, <laughs> loves the game of fetch. Lena loves the game of fetch, and Lena knows the name of her toys. She does. Yeah. Go get Mr. Chicken. Go get your nanner. <laughs> go get your monkey. Yeah. She knows each She doesn't toy. like that lamb toy. She uh, doesn't like the lamb. Least. No. The one that makes noise. She Isaac, Isaac Boots gave her a lamb toy that when you squeeze it, it goes... <laughs> And if she, if I even take it out to show her, she runs, runs and away. hides. Yeah. She's terrified of it. I think we have a, we have a video of Lena. Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh. oh, this is her. In, this oh. is a slow motion, slow motion fetch. <laughs> Here she comes. Watch, watch her landing. Her landing is the best part. She seems. <laughs> She really does. Uh, She's like a rag doll. She's she really, really, really is. Fun. Um, I, I like cats. If you've ever seen a cat, like, you want to get, you ever see people, they have like, um, not oh, like laser pointers, they, like laser pointers or even like, uh, uh, like a, a mirror. With a light, with yeah. the with the reflection. sun reflection, a cat is a cat can follow that anywhere. It is so wild yeah. how perceptive they are and how their reflexes are they're so advanced. Cat like, yeah, they're cat like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's where they get that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cat like reflexes. <laughs> Anywho. More news that I disagree with. These okay. are the ranked football fans who swear the most. Oh. This is the average swears per game. <laughs> Coming in at number one, the New York Giants fans. Oh, we're number one. <laughs> There's a, yeah, there is a lot to swear about. <laughs> now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disagree because I feel, and I say this with love and respect, I feel that the Philadelphia Eagles fans should be up there. <laughs> Look, some of you are cursing me right now. Uh, but no, uh, Philadelphia, Cleveland Browns, and Chicago Bears are all tied for number six. Oh. Which is number two. 8.3 curses per game. Yeah. Which, by, by the way, we can all agree these are underestimates. <laughs> Number two spot, the Detroit Lions fans. Oh, that's <laughs> They've earned it over the years. <laughs> New York Jets fans are number four. Okay. Number four, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the Los Angeles Chargers fans, they barely curse at all with 7.9 curses. Oh. What are the Bucks? No Bucks fans? No Bucks. They never curse. They never curse. No. They they say, bless his heart. They say, bless his heart. <laughs> hey, uh, sleeping longer on the weekend may help lower heart disease risk. Ah. For oh. adults who struggle to get, re to get the recommended amount of quality sleep, new research suggests catching up those lost hours on weekends may significantly decrease the risk of heart disease. Yeah, I'm I am looking... do my best sleep. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a little le weekend sleep. That's yeah, nice. me too. Nice rain. I and mean, it's not going to rain this weekend, but a nice rainy Isn't fall. Isn't it great, though, when we wake up when our eyes open as opposed to the alarm. Oh, yes. Oh it's so nice. Oh, guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's something so satisfying mm. about waking up when you wake up versus being thrust awake yeah. by that insufferable alarm or, you know, having to go to work or going to school. Yeah. All of the things we have to do. Uh, we've got a huge show today. Massive. Jeff Bridges is here. Oh. Oh, one of your favorites, one of your favorites, Juliette Lewis is here. Coolest, coolest girl on earth. Very cool. And Turn Back Time Week continues with a look at the pros and pros of cosmetic <laughs> surgery. All right, it's the reason you all showed up today. It's time to play. Let's say hello to Diane Sandell from Schwenksville, Pennsylvania, <laughs> who watches the show on WPVI, and she wants to stump me because she needs a new mug. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, That's what do you got? Reason. What are you drinking there? Are you drinking a, a, a margarita in that photo? 
Uh, a mango margarita, yes. Wow. Mm. A little salt on the edge of the rim there? Ooh. Yep. Yes. That sounds Never had nice. a mango margarita. Mango margarita. That sounds really nice. Do you really remember nice. when we first got married? In Tucson? In Tucson. <laughs> and we had prickly pear margaritas. <laughs> Loved it. I don't think we had one ever since. No, but it was so it fun. Was so nice. I was like, this is marriage. With, with chips and salsa. Yes. You remember that? Yes. That Back when nice. we had metabolisms, it yeah. was amazing. No, no kids. Okay, Diane, you know how this game works. You've given us two statements. One is true, one is false. I have 60 seconds to decide which is the truth. And if you stump me, you will win this. Diane's two statements. My husband and I share the same birthday, oh. or my family and I travel to the Outer Banks every other year. All right. Um, what, what, what's your, when's your birthday? August 14th. And when's your husband's birthday? August 14th. Um, born in the, on the same year? No, we're three years apart. Okay. And did you find that charming when you guys knew that you guys were born on the same day? Well, we just had a double celebration, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Has he ever forgotten to get you something? <laughs> Never. Never. Yeah. I would assume that would be hard to forget. Okay. Um, where in the Outer Banks? What part of the Outer Banks do you travel to? Um, it's pretty far down. I think where we stayed last year it was called the town of Salvo. Okay. So you switch it up. You go to different locations? Yes. I heard it's beautiful there. It is. Yeah, well, that's all I got. <laughs> What's that? Why every other year? Yeah, why do you go every other year? Um, it's hard getting the family together, but we make a point of it every other year. Yeah. Or maybe you just don't want to be around all your family all the time every year. <laughs> you wait until you miss them a lot. Yeah, sometimes you need a year off. T sometimes you need a year off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to say that you and your family travel to the Outer Banks every other year. You're right. Hey. That was a guess. I'm sorry you didn't win the mug or the t-shirt, but you still have a chance to win a valuable trip. It's time for Great Getaways Travel Trivia. <laughs> tongue from Miami, Florida. Now, you can do that thing where you have like an oyster tongue or like a floral tongue, right? Can you show us again? Oh my. Wow. Yeah. Lola can do that, right? Lola can, our daughter can do that. I'm born on St. Patrick's Day, so I like to think it's my three-leaf clover. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a great, yeah. Okay. I love your Snoopy jacket. Thank you. It's a great yeah. Snoopy jacket. Deja, let's spin the wheel and see if we can win Diana Prize. All right. Where'd she get that from? What's genetic? I don't know. Yeah. We're, now we're trying to do it. Now we're trying to make a four-leaf clover with our tongue. <laughs> uh, you're playing for a trip for two, Diane, to the Hyatt Ziva Rose <laughs> Hall in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Treatments. Yeah. It's a prize value. It's seventy-three hundred dollars. You have twenty seconds, and only one guess. Good luck. Diana. All right, Dan. Here we go. Earlier this week, we talked with Demi Moore. What did Demi say she wants her grandchild to call her? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. You and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at Hyatt Ziva Rose Hall, nestled along the shores of the sparkling Caribbean Sea, blue skies, and the scenic mountains of Jamaica. This all the resort offers recreation and relaxation for the entire family. Enjoy 12 restaurants and bars, sparkling pools, two golf courses, a kids club, and more. Your prize
prize is valued at approximately $7,300. Diane, congratulations. Thank you. You didn't need that stinking mug. Nope. <laughs> All right, now you get to make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive uh, a Roomba vacuum cleaner from iRobot. So please pick a number between 1 and 154. 49. 49. 49. Dearest Kelly Ripa. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are home. This is what I look like when I don't get uh, laser facial work. <laughs> Clean shaven today, gentlemen. Clean shaven today. Don't forget to tune in all next week when we will attempt to set a new batch of world records. You're not going to want to miss that. No. And tomorrow's show, we'll have Laverne Cox here. Yes. Ooh. Usher, Usher will be here. Usher. You cannot usher, say usher, usher without usher. repeating it seven times. Usher, usher, usher. And Turn Back Time Week continues with tips on how you can improve your memory, which is not as fun as the pros and pros of plastic surgery. <laughs> All right, get ready, everyone. He's an Academy Award-winning actor, photographer, author, and musician. Now he returns for season two in the action thriller series, The Old Man. Please welcome one of Hollywood's most beloved actors, Jeff Bridges. you were here was a while ago and you've been through a lot since then. Yeah. And uh, you had a lot of serious health issues. How are you doing? I'm, How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah. Hey, thank you. When, how did you find out, what, what did you sense when, when something was going, was, was, was wrong? <laughs> well, I was... I was on the ground doing some, you know, sit-ups or something. I felt like a, I said, it feels like there's a bone in my stomach. Ah. And my, my wife, I say, feel this. She goes, you ought to get that checked. I go, no, no, it doesn't hurt. We're going to go to Montana for oh. two months. I was really looking forward to that. So I went to Montana, had a great time, came back. I was going to start the old man up again, and I figured, I better get this thing checked out. Mm -hmm. And they said, you have a 9 by 12 inch mass oh. lymphoma in your stomach. Wow. And I said, really? So. <laughs> and, it, and at that point, are you, did you feel hopeless, or were you very positive going into it? No, no I was you know, kind of frightened. They didn't know quite the type of lymphoma it was, uh -huh. so they couldn't get the right cocktail. Mm -hmm. But then with the plot thickens when I find, I get a letter from, uh, from the place where I was getting my treatment. They said, you may have been exposed to COVID. Oh. oh so yeah, the, the chemo treatment, I was it stripped all my immune yes, system. Yes, right. So the COVID uh, was rough, made yeah. the cancer look like nothing. Oh, I mean, my I, gosh. I was in the hospital for you know, five weeks or something like that. Yeah, I, well, I heard that one of your goals to, uh, to getting better was being able to walk your daughter down the aisle who's getting yeah, better. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was great. Put these little... And there yeah, yeah. Oh, 
so far. I look at that picture and it makes me laugh because one of the things I, uh, one of my favorite haircuts is bald. Do you ever shave your head oh, yeah. bald? Don't you love yeah, that? That's so great. I love it. So when I had the thing, you know, I said the chemo is going to take my, I shaved it bald and then it was grown back and then it grew, oh, look how terrible my hair looks. No, it looks good. It's it's good. Just great. But it grew back curly. all curly yes. Yes. and I was digging that but I, <laughs> and I left it a little too long and I look at my hair there in that picture. I look like a weird version of my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to not only walk her down the aisle, but I got to do the wedding dance. Oh, amazing. That. We're just so yeah. relieved and oh, happy that you're oh, well. And, and, and uh, I've not, like, I'm always happy to see you, but especially now. Um, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting mm -hmm. for the return of the oh, old man. man. Oh. Yes, yes. More than the return with Jeff Bridges. Love, love the show. Still ahead on live. To, to observe the village and build a plan, and then we'd move. 20 men, small arms in and out. Can you do that? A day or two to observe the village is not enough. Oh, well, we have no time to delay. No one I know has spent any time inside his compound. It is said that there is a web of hidden passages beneath it. It would take us weeks to plan it. A day or two, we'll handle the rest of it. In its second season, of course, your character, David Chase, was a, a former CIA operative. Yes. Who sort of uh, uh, Abscond. decades ago yep. absconds yeah. and lives life off the grid. That's right. And then yeah. they, pull, they him, pull him back pull in. Pull him back. Yeah. So, we love, yeah, we consequences. love consequences. Season one, and I, it takes, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a snob when I watch these shows. I want a good show that I can get into. And when I watched the show, it immediately brought in the fight scenes are so real. Oh, yeah. Your jujitsu was so spot on. Well, we got this. Tim Conley, who's our stunt coordinator. You know, it's basically the same uh, assignment for any acting, for any any scene you're doing. You want it to be kind of interesting, but you want it to be authentic, right? And well, look you guys... like it's happening for the first time. Yeah. yeah. And so to create that illusion, you know, it takes some some planning and you, you know, work on it, but he's wonderful to work with. Do you have to do training? Because if, if it were me, I'd just be like... Sex well, I did, I did some. You know, I was telling you about yeah. this nine and a, nine inch by twelve inch tumor. Right. I had that in my stomach, <laughs> right. man. Right. Doing all those for, uh, fight scenes for the first season, getting punched in the stomach, and it didn't hurt. I didn't feel anything. You know. Wow. Yeah. And I love the dog on the show. The rock. Oh, the two, one. both two of them. Yeah, two, yeah. two dogs. Yeah. yeah. I've got a cavapoo. Oh, oh wow. Cavalier King Charles oh. Monty. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Nice. And your co-star, of course, John, the great John Lithgow. Lithgow. Oh. Have you guys had worked? Have you guys worked together before? Oh, yeah. Had you guys worked together before? No. I was a little disappointed with season one. I think we were on the f phone together, a kind of a couple of phone scenes. Right. But now in season two, we work together all the time. Well, and Amy Brenneman, so yes. wonderful. Oh, it's a yeah. Yeah. Fabulous yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. Well, Shaw Cat, oh. she's so great. Amazing. So great to have you here. And I got to tell you, do yourself a favor before season two starts. Catch up on season one. You'll love the show. Yeah. Season two premieres tonight. Tonight. Yeah. 10 p.m. on FX streaming. The next day on Hulu. just returned from France. Yes, bonjour. What was it like? It was magical. Do you speak French? Not at all. Really? I know three phrases. Give them to us. Bon oui, bonsoir, à tout à l'heure. And just like that, I just sing them. That sounds amazing. Thanks. Yeah. It, you sound like a French person. Uh, I don't know that they think that. <laughs> well, they know, yeah. But they, yeah, yeah, for effort. Say, bonsoir, bonsoir, good evening. Yes. So this summer, you got to spend some time in the mountains? Yes. yes, so I made the smart decision to get out of the city. I live in the mountains, and we have a lot of interesting critters. Oh, oh give me some of your critters. So, um, 
We have what's called carpenter bees. Oh, uh, yeah. I think, have you heard of this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like to make anything that's scary into like an animated show. So I picture them with like little tool belts and <laughs> yeah. saws. Yeah, and they're yeah. just like drilling away at your house. But they will eat your house. Yeah, they, they will. will. Eat your yes. house for sure. They will. There's what, camel spiders. What's a camel spider? I don't know. <laughs> but they're vicious. There's tarantulas that actually are so beautiful. They are beautiful. Aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're ma majestic. Is that not the right word for I tarantula? I like it. Maybe can, something. I'm sure but they would appreciate it. Yeah, they're, they move very slowly. Yeah. What about snakes? Oh, snakes. Yes. So many snakes. So many? <laughs> so many snakes. Wait, do you kind? see them? Like, I've oh, seen them. Like and, rattles, and what rattle do they snakes? say? Rattlesnakes? Are you too high for rattlesnakes? Oh, no, lots of rattlesnakes. So they have, like, rattlesnake training for your dogs. I don't take the dogs on the hiking. Right. So that's just for me. But I remember, you know, I have to break out my camera and film everything yeah, yeah. for the World Wide Web and be like, oh, my God, it's a snake. I'm, you know, my life was threatened. And then my friend will be like, no, that was a gardener snake. So. Wait, to me, so... To me, it's gonna sound nuts, but I think the the least scary snake is the rattlesnake because they, unlike the other sneaky snakes, yes, they let you know. They're like, hey, that's it. I'm over here and I'm gonna get ya if you step on me. Whereas those other snakes are very snaky. They're very snaky. You know the weird thing about a rattlesnake is I did come up upon one when I was going to get some body work. This is very mountain life. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, work on my energy, whatever. <laughs> and there was a rattlesnake, but he stayed looking me dead in the eyes the entire time. I was like, okay, there's a snake here. And the lady was like, just walk around, walk slowly. And he looked at me like this the whole time. Anyway, he I didn't kill fainted. me. So. I mean, I literally would have. Was, he, was he rattling? He was. She said, "Is he coiling? He was moving his body oh. to contract to then attack strike. to then start to rattle." Yes. Do they oh. rattle first and then strike? Or? No, I think they coil up. I'm and thinking of that song, like coiled up and hissing. What's that '80s song? Okay, uh. whatever. Aria Speedwagon. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the mind works. But they coiled up. He was ready to attack. But I got out in the nick of time. Oh, my I'm God. I'm surviving. So, you're surviving. All right. Coming up next, <laughs> Juliet will tell us about playing the villain in her new film, The Thicket. Stick around. Ví dụ như mình dụ nó là tảng đá đây được không ta? Nó có lại cho mấy thằng kia không? Lại xíu 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 miếng nữa Đồ đánh này biết nào mới xong Ý Ôi nó cũng có chiêu dữ vậy Chiêu mạnh dữ vậy Rồi tám con biết đánh nào mới xong cậu Thầy đến nó ít đi cái mình dùng chiêu nha các bạn Nó cho nó còn ít máu thôi Lâu chết quá Tôi thấy tao là múa không à Sao Rồi con tiếp theo Đánh kiếm này lâu quá à Ôi 
Ủa đi vụ mà trở thành cái con chết rồi Nè Con đại bót kìa Ừ nhắc mới nhớ hồi nãy mình chưa có đánh cái con uh, Con bót bự ở bên uh, Bên bên đảo khỉ Này là này <cười> 